It's not every day you get to spread homemade droppings on an isolated clifftop, but for these scientists, they hope it'll be the icing on the cake to attract passing seabirds. That's a big poo, that one, Matt. <laughs> All shag colonies and seabird colonies have got lots of white guano and poo around. And any birds that are out there a long way off, they're not gonna see these models first, they're gonna see that white, that white poo. The birds they're hoping to attract are these beautiful spotted shags. Once common in the Hauraki Gulf, they are now limited to two small colonies on offshore islands, about 300 breeding pairs. And there used to be a very abundant species in the Hauraki Gulf. There were probably you know, five to 10,000 no, birds here in the past. The population is very much less than what it used to be. The project to coax spotted shags back to the Noises Islands is being led by Auckland Museum. An ironic twist, as it was the museum that once contributed to their decline. These birds were collected in the early 1900s. And in those days, um, museum went, staff went out and shot the birds. Yep, and it was, it was accepted practice. Those original specimens have now been brought back to life, carefully scanned, 3D printed, and then hand painted by museum volunteers. The replicas taking their place back on the cliffs of Ōtata Island. Okay, Matt, uh, where are we going to put this one? I think we should put it down here, mate. The small island has been in Rod's family for generations, and he remembers seeing the shags nesting when he was a young boy. <laughs> We've seen so many declines in, in our lifetime in terms of seabirds and, and fish and life that it would be absolutely awesome to encourage something back. Along with the decoys and fake poo, a solar powered sound system will also broadcast calls to passing birds. In an ideal world there's going to be a group of excitable young teenage shags flying by, you know, cruising around and they're going to see this and go, whoa, this looks like a good place. The scientists admit it may take years to see results, but have their fingers crossed for some new arrivals in the next few months.